Hello everybody, welcome back to another international taste test. Today we're tasting some snacks and treats from Australia. Now I'm not sure how many Australian snack videos we did. Maybe we did four, five, six, can't remember. But I can assure you that we've tried none of these. All these things are new things sent to us by Abby and her husband in Australia. Thank you so much for sending these to us. We Thank you very wait. much. We can't wait to try them out. I don't know if you know this, but I love tea. I don't drink coffee, so tea is my go-to drink. And Abby and her husband sent us these packs of tea. They are called T2 and they are made in Australia. This is Abby's mother's favorite tea. Mm -hmm. And um, she sent us some four different flavors, creme brulee, sleep tight, English breakfast, and just peppermint. I'm not, I'm gonna save the sleep tight for later because if I drink this now, I may fall asleep during the review. English breakfast, I'll save it for later. Uh, which one do you wanna try? Creme brulee. Creme brulee, okay. And I'm gonna be trying Abby's favorite, just peppermint. Just peppermint. Yeah, just peppermint. <laughs> so, so they come in these uh, tea packets, which is very convenient. I, I actually prefer uh, tea bags like this. I, I don't really like loose leaf tea because it's too much of a hassle, too much of a work for me. Okay. I'm very curious, the, this taste. Cream brulee tea? Yeah, I know. I know. I can smell it from here. It smells sweet like dessert. But, but you know, right now I am in the mood for some peppermint tea because I'm kind of sleepy. And um, I think I have a feeling this is gonna wake me up or refresh me. Let's give it a try. Thank you, Ross. Oh, it's true. It's cream blue day. Mm. <laughs> really refreshing peppermint tea. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, it, it, is it sweet? Or is it no just sweet. Aroma? Not no? sweet. But no the sweet. aroma is cream blue day. I see. Mm. Oh. Wow. Really? How do they make this? Well, this is what it says in the package of the creme brulee. It says this is a Decadent sweet treat, velvety vanilla plays with caramel and hazelnuts in a gorgeously golden brew. And mine is simply peppermint, nothing it's else. It's so strong peppermint. <laughs> yeah, I love it though, I really love it. You know, I'm a fan of peppermint tea. Well, that's a great start, let's move on. The first snack is Samboy. This is a barbecue potato chips. The Samboy is the most popular chips brand, potato chips brand in Australia. And this is barbecue flavor. Barbecue flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Andy says that barbecue flavor is a very common flavor in Australia. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, thank you Abby and Abby's husband for this really adorable card. Thanks. Okay, so these are potato chips with ridges. Barbecue powder. Mm. It's all around the chips. Yeah, smells lovely. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a really good chip. Mm. Mm. My favorite type. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crispy, it's light, it's flavorful. Mm. That barbecue flavor is spot on. Good barbecue flavor and really sakuto. Alright, the next one is from Uncle Toby's. It's called Le Snack. And this is cheddar cheese dipping crackers made with real cheese. And on the box it says they include no artificial colors or flavors, so it's all natural, I guess. They come individually packed like this with three crackers and a little portion of uh, cheese dip in one uh, pack. Carefully portion control, which is good. And I love the fact that um, the design is different oh. on each one. One, and let's dip that cracker into the cheese. And I noticed the cracker has some black specks. I'm wondering if that's pumpernickel. Okay, let's give it a try. Like Moss. Mmm. Oh, that's mm. nice. It's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Nice mm. cheese. You know, many um, Japanese people are not used to eating very strong, intensely, mm. you know, smelly cheese, right? I think this is the type of cheese that all Japanese people mm. can eat. I think so too. You know, it's a mm. very mild cheese. Mm. I used to eat cheese after my job at the office. Oh, I see, when you used to work for mm. a, a company, mm -hmm. right? The next one is from Arnold's Tiny Teddy Chocolate. Arnold's is, we know, it's Tim Tam's company. Yes, <laughs> love Tim Tam's. Tam Tam, love. Yeah. And this is, is this chocolate, but the shape is like teddy bear. Yes. Not koala. Not, Not koala. koala. <laughs> I thought it's koala. Because Australia yeah. is koala. Hmm. <laughs> mm. 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 I can tell that they don't use artificial mm. anything. Because 
I, I noticed that when they put artificial stuff into cookies and stuff, it tastes more intense. But these cookies actually have a very subtle flavor. Not necessarily meaning it's tasteless or you know it has less flavor or anything like that. But I think it has a really well balanced flavor mm -hmm. and a really natural taste to it. Natural taste. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next thing we've got are some Aussie drops. And these are eucalyptus drops made and blended by hand since 1983. Abby says that eucalyptus has antibacterial properties. Oh, really? And it's also really good when you have sore throat. Mm. I never really uh, consumed eucalyptus oil. I have eucalyptus oil, um, aroma oil, and candles. You know, I love the smell of eucalyptus. It's the first time I'm um, eating candy. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this because I am loving the smell. I really love the smell. Mm. <laughs> it's like aroma oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, mm. it's, it's so refreshing. Mm. It reminds me I'm just sitting in front of the aroma diffuser. I think I have become a fan of eucalyptus candy. Next one is Ovatin. It's choc malt treat, chocolate tablet. Mm. Well, I do like Ovatins. You know, and there are alphabetical letters on each of the tablets and they're all different. There's an M, oh, really? there's a T, M there's a oh, Y. Right, right. So yeah. Oh, maybe there are 26 tablets. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think so. That's a pretty small bag. Alright, give us. Oh. Mm. Mm. Very, very more to flavor mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah. This is really good. Mm. Mm. I don't know why, but this takes me back to my childhood as well. There are some kind of ice cream tastes like this. I don't remember, but I, I, I ate this taste. You did? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And you don't remember where? So basically, you cannot help me get it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, um, this is also by Arnott's, that famous Arnott's that make those deliciously devilish Tim Tams. So these are mint slices, and they are these round discs of chocolate-covered, maybe cookies. Uh, let's let's break them in half. Oh, it's cream. Oh no, it's cr not cream. Yeah, I think it is cream. Yeah, it's like it's a, cream. Yeah, I think it's a mint cream, and that's a cookie inside. Oh. So basically, it's a ch chocolate covered cookie with cream. Mmm, mm, very minty flavor. Mmm, mm. that's nice. Mmm, mm. you love mint. I do, and I love cookies and chocolate. Mm. So this is perfect for me. Mmm. <laughs> Such a beautifully mm. balanced blend of flavors. I love this mm. so much. Mm. Mm. This mm. is nice. Mm. Mm. It's like um, Tim Tam. Don't it, you think so? It's kind of like Tim Tams. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me <laughs> of Tim Tams. Mm. Oh my god. Mint I, Tim yeah, these are really good. <laughs> the next two is uh, chocolate. Chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. The one is milk chocolate and one is dark chocolate. For me, thank yes. you very much. And this is from Hayes. One, this is the one of the oldest chocolate company. You can you can buy this chocolate only at this store. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't get them at supermarkets or mm -hmm. stuff like that. I'm gonna taste the milk chocolate, and you'll taste the dark chocolate. Thank you, Mas. This is totally different from like Hershey's or Cadbury. Um, the chocolate taste is really sophisticated. It's not too sweet and it's not that milky either. It almost has like a malted flavor, which makes it a little bit unusual. I was not expecting this mm. malted flavor. So the, so the last thing we have is a hot chocolate stick. It's called the Original Hot Chocolate Milk Chalk. And it says to stir this into steamed milk, which we have right here in front of us and it's supposed to make a beautiful hot chocolate drink. You know, uh, we had something like this um, on our last food review, the Mexico one. Um, we did it with a Mexican chocolate, and I'm very curious to see what um, this one is going to taste like. I want to see if there's any difference. I'm pretty sure there's a difference. I like this concept because it makes it so much fun, you know. This is so much more fun than, you know, just putting powder into a cup and mixing mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. I like this. It's like, you know, playing with your food. <laughs> okay, so I think my chocolate milk is ready. Really? It has completely melted. So and it is looking delicious. It's still here. Oh my Why? god, really? <laughs> interesting. The, this stick has a spoon. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very interesting and very practical. Mmm. 
Oh, wow. This is delicious. Mmm. Oh. It's really thick hot and chocolate. Rich. Rich. Rich and chocolatey. Oh. oh, wow. This is one of the best um, hot chocolate I've had. Mm. You know, it, it, it's really chocolatey. A lot of times I'm disappointed because I feel like it's too thin and it's not milky chocolatey enough. I like this one. This one is perfect. I feel like it's like kuzuyu, chocolate kuzuyu. 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 Mm. Kuzuyu is a starch drink. Japanese starch drink. Japanese starch drink. Mm. But a chocolate version. Chocolate version. Mm. So, Satoshi, out of everything that we tried today, what is your favorite? The My, my favorite one is mm, Anon's mint slice biscuit. Ah, I see. Well, good choice. Well, my favorite, if you guys haven't guessed already, is this right here. It's this chocolate. Milk chocolate. Oh, yeah. This hot chocolate is like the most awesome thing I've ever had this week. So, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Which one were your favorites? Big, big thank you to Abby and her husband for sending these treats to us. We really appreciate it. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy these international food hauls, make sure to check out our playlist right up there as well as subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to press that notification bell right next to that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any one of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care. Bye bye.